what is up y'all it is me tasha c in this particular video y'all originally this was supposed to be together with when i did the video which should already be uploaded if you haven't checked out already and you like what you listen and, and or slash um uh, seeing you go ahead subscribe or follow you know um the youtube channel and listen and i'll probably make a podcast back on spotify with this but anyway y'all i was going to talk about two things that had to do with kai sinet that's been uh, put up was recently in the other video i talked about seven days in and originally i was going to talk about the controversy surrounding this nine-year-old rapper who's talking about some adult stuff he has no business talking about and some stuff he shouldn't be talking about prior then he was over kai sinet's house you know kai sinet was treating him like the kid nine-year-old child that he is and this child says something that was inappropriate that nobody should be saying period okay and he was just in shock whatever but you know like i said he was on his stream doing everything possibly can you know with this child did you possibly do a nine-year-old and he says something um that was very, uh, very inappropriate and you know like where the hell's parents who thought this was a good idea but it, him becoming a rapper like would he get this much um play as far as being out there if he didn't rap about this the stuff he rap about even though this is a, a child this is a child rapping about uh you know some adult things cuss words and i'm saying to all the bg babies start from little kitty into the youngest like you know i, I don't like you spell them but i mean just this this is not cute you want y'all just kiss this is not cute at all i mean he you know you got um old kids and adults enabling this shit but this is not for the kids this is not cute at all so i found out by watching the streamer like i said your rage you know like uh, uh, i you know some of the people i watch that's how i found out about stuff it's actually like watching and listening you know to other like streamers other youtubers you know reactors um you know you know or even on twitch or something like that or occasion kick that's how i find out about um new stuff that's out so that's how i found about this rapper and this little boy i'm like is this a row um i'll try to put in this video hopefully they don't like you know i'm able to keep it in and i'll try to edit out to here but i'm going to have read the lyrics to you anyway y'all y'all can look up little rt aka the little ba ba badass and stuff but it's sad it's not the first and maybe not the last time we have these kids are not allowed to be a kids you know you know we got them violence we got them sexual lines we're groom and grooming them so this child is talking about stuff that he has no business talking about and making a profit off of it. This baby could have talked about the newest dance or whatever. And I wish he could have got profit like that. But now it's based, you know, this is, this is okay. This shit is not okay, y'all. Now, we gonna watch some clips at first with Kai Sinet. And then I want y'all, wait, wait, you know what? Just for the heck before I show Kai Sinet, I'm going to read you the verses of his song. And y'all listen to the shit. Remember, this is coming from a nine-year-old child. And while I was watching the couple stream, that's why I found out about this before him appearing on Kai Sinet's stream. And I was like, what the hell is this? And just like every stream I watched, they responded to, excuse me, y'all. It was the same thing. Okay, this is one contributor. Let's remember, this is a nine-year-old rapper, okay? Uh, a child. Little RT is a, a nine-year-old rapper from Atlanta, Georgia. He originally gained a following due to viral TikTok. It was showing freestyling on a Sarah case, which gained, uh, gained millions of views. A mere weeks later, he recorded his first song called 60 Miles. And teamed up with Dig uh, Diraji Productions to create his um, create its official music video. The following the same weekend, he recruited famous graphic designer Telescope to design a couple of art and release the track on all platforms. Lil R team gained co signs from many big names in industry such as uh, streamers such as Kai Sinet, Jizzy, okay, and artists like DGG, Real Boston, really Baby Drill, and Ty the Menace, Little Mabu. That's the one that song with background with uh, Krishan, uh, you know, then I so this late, I think that is uh, Rob 49, Dope Boy, Rico Reckless, Little Tony, and many more. Oh gosh, um. Let, let's let's we go through the song 
of this hot ass mess. It even begins the chorus. Remember, this is a nine year old child. If she ain't sucking a little bit, you can get the up out my shit. I'm brought out of words because it's a, ch a child, but 400. Um, hit him with the Glock, take the fucker down. 400, bitch. We uh, we hitting that kid, we gonna take him down. 12, get behind me, we gonna do uh, 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 uh 60. F uh, fuck the fuck, my shit. Bitch, I'm in a Lamborghini. Keep on talking, bitch. I'm in a Lamborghini. Point that beam on up on his head. Took his shit. Went. He went out bad. Fifty rounds, ninja. No, not play with me. Oh gosh, it just makes me want to get the belt. <laughs> Any the BG pay babies put me on this dirt shit. I'm gonna get whoop y'all asses. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll shoot his ass right in the ground. Hands, hand her out. Step a little, boy. Gray hit him in, in his face. If she gon' uh, go crack, what? Bitch, I'm in the lab. Keep on talking. Hit him in with this glam. Bitch, I hand up the Glock. Hit him in the porch. Hit him with the Glock. I take him down. Hit him in his face. Make. Uh, make a little boy drop like he uh, like he okay, bitch. I got the Glock up on my side. If he try to run, clap him, clap him in the leg. Little nigga drop, bitch. I'm in the sun, bitch. I'm in the Lamborghini. Keep on talking, cause bitch, I'm in the sun, bitch. I throw a bullet out there, hit you in your face, and the bitch switch up on the Glock, hit him in the K. That bitch got blicked, hit him in the face, and she be, uh, go cray. Bitch, I'm in the land. Keep keep on talking. Hit him in the mouth. Who is riding this shit for him? What the fuck? Bitch, I got a Draco bubble this shit. 50 round the glick. Hit him in the face. Nah, bro. He a fucking bitch. 400. Hit him in with a Glock. We uh, never been took took down. 400. Hit him with the Glock. We gonna take him down. Bitch, you wanna see it? we up on the west side. Nah, so bitch from on the west side. Boy, he trying to run. Hit him with the fucking Drake, bitch. Got to spend all day, bitch. I'm uh, a 345 little baby. <sighs> of course, if she ain't such the bitch, then you can get the, out my shit. 400 rounds, hit him with the Glock, take the fucker down. 100 round, bitch. Uh, we hitting that kill, we gonna take him down. Uh, 12, get behind, we gonna do 60 miles. Yeah, this is some bullshit. Okay, y'all, after listening to that mess, we about to, you know, watch a few clips of Kai Sinet when, you know, kind of like the, the you know, some of the cute moments. Well, most of it, you know, the cute moments uh, with Kai Sinet, you know, just talking to uh, little when he first gets to the place and he's talking to, uh, you know, little RT and stuff. And then after that, I'm going to come back again and then we going to go to the last part about you know the drum roll of this video of him talk you know and that controversial statement and stuff this shit is ridiculous Ugly ass did you, wait, hold on. Did you know that you was coming? Huh? You said ugly ass people? No, I thought I was coming tomorrow. Oh, you think you're coming tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, you should, nah, you're not going. You came today. Hey, I, I, I got you a twin. Where my phone is? You got a phone? Father, son. Like this? Yeah, just go like this. Father, Father son. son. No. Oh, Father, Father son, son, Holy Spirit. Spirit. Yeah. So Father, do it on your own. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Do it one more time. Do it one more time. Holy Son. No. Father. Oh. Holy Father. No. In the name of the Father. Oh, in the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy. And the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Okay. Uh, Put hands together. In the name of. You want to pray first? 
We both can pray. You want to pray first? You want me to start first? Oh, uh, you follow me. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We thank you for everything. We thank you for everything. Amen. Amen. My turn. My turn. My turn. My turn. Alright. Alright. What? Let me tell you all right, Drew. Okay. Tell, uh, yeah. So let me. Let me. Let me get to know you. Yeah. Come on. Come so on. So I can make money. Okay. You, I, I, I be trying to make this song hard so I can make money. But what if you trade it like? But you could rap though. Like you. I don't know no nine year old that could rap like you, and have the aura and have the delivery. I feel like you could rap. But you know you could rap about Timmy Turner. Huh? You 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 could you could you could rap about like. Timmy Turner, SpongeBob SquarePants, you know? Square pants, huh? Yeah, bro. He not gonna listen to me. Ooh! Your mom's calling! Ooh! Here. Here. Hello? Answer. Okay, bye, love you. I don't gotta go to bed. Oh, bro, it's 2 a.m. Bruh! I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't gonna lie, RT. It's getting too late, gang. What your mom said, though? Huh? What your mom say? She said she, she come back. She, she gonna go get some meat. She left? Huh? She left? She come back. Don't get to the party. I didn't do anything. I wonder where she going. Alright, it's bedtime till she come back. Nuh-uh. It's bedtime till she come back. Nuh -uh. It's bedtime till she come back. Yes, it's fair. No, 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 we can't do that, bro. Hey, hey. Hey, boy. Your mind just leave. No. Let me tell you something right now. You're under. What was she calling? What was she calling? I need to I ain't losing my brain. You made me build this on myself. I'm, yeah, just tell us. Yeah, yeah. Let me just, yeah. He won't do shit in the dark. Bedtime, bedtime, bedtime. Bedtime. Oh, oh my God. Bedtime. Bedtime. Mm. Bedtime. Okay, y'all, we've seen some of the good moments. You know, Kyle Dream Island, we've been warm, drawn row. Now we about to listen and look, uh, read, you know, watch along, read uh, while read along an article about this BS with little RT. But like I said, cautionary tale, y'all. I'm just preparing you for what this baby about to say, because he is a child. Whether he don't want to admit or not, but let's get to the fuckery. <laughs> What? What? What did you say? What did you say? Wait, what did you say? What did you say? What did you say? Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Hey, come here, come here. That's not cool. Bro! But what is what is what to say, bro? Don't I say? Right? You right? Mm. Right? This is hotnewhiphop.com site and this is by Alexander Cole. It was posted November 21st, 2023. Kai Sinet as Little RT says he's going to great juice someone during freestyle. Kai Sinet has been known to be uh, known, uh, known to 
pretty much work with anyone as long as they cool down to earth and want to link up. Overall, he has been able to work with the likes of Offset, Rich Paul, and a host of others. However, he has gotten to do some streams with some lesser known people. Furthermore, he will also work with some viral stars. Even if the viral personalities end up cr uh, crashing out later on, Kai gets to bring them to his viewers for some fun content. And the end is a win-win. In -win. Well, this case, it's a shock shock. Okay. Well, the streamer decided to link up a rec recently with Little RRT. A.K.A. Some, his, his parents think he's an asshole for this child. Okay. For the, those who are unaware, R.T. is a young child went viral for a recent rap contract. Like to say kind of virtual. Oh, no, he didn't. What the hell is this child talking about? Do your ABCs and learn how to handle... Oh, gosh. Overall, the song is vulgar. It takes a whole lot of bunch of subjects that a child should not be or should not rap about. Well, when R.T. was on Sinet's stream, he continued to act in a manner that was a, a bit too mature for his age. As you can see below, he even says that he is going to grape juice someone, which is simply unacceptable. It's unacceptable anybody's age. Kai Sinet was stunned too. Clearly didn't know what to do. Okay. Um, I'm gonna um, play it again, even though I don't know. Um, I'm gonna. Hey, I walk a girl, and I give me a girl, and I find a hug, and I got her number, and I'm gonna hey. die with a partner. What? What? What did you say? What did you say? What? What did you say? Continuation of the clip where I already said he would grape you someone Kai's lie to continue the stream after this moment. Um he was on and off was he was trying to have the kid be a kid. I on and off watch the stream. Oh gosh. Overall fans were also very stunned by the behavior. After all, the kids shouldn't be saying those things. Hell, the, an adult shouldn't be saying those things either. Either. Consequently, some people believe that the adults in uh, uh, little RT's life are failing him right now. Ding, ding, ding. It is hard to disagree with someone like that. At this point, the intervention might be just necessary. If not, then one only can imagine things that would evolve from here on out. Hopefully, it's taught some valuable lessons before it's all to be too late. We also hope that because and it can be a positive role model of some sort. Let us know what you think about the situation in the comments below. Additionally, stay tuned for HNHH for the latest news updates around the entertainment world. We will always keep you for our favorite personalities. Physical. Okay. Um... This was just another link article with Dobro fires back critics of nine year old rapper Kyle Lake. Dobro said all none didn't act like that. Telly Spencer, uh, this was October 22nd, 2003. Creepy Lab Dobro is fed up. He recently collaborated with nine year old inspired rapper Little RT with a song 60 Seconds uh, 2, a part 2. Social media was taken aback by the collab made by uh, Little RT, so they're claiming they're extremely inappropriate for his age. While Little RT gets very sexually explicit, Dobro claims he's not promoting this type of behavior okay that's me like what the fuck the, what however though boys taking a stance against the naysayers who have had nothing positive to say towards little rt in a video shared on social media though boy defending i've been seeing all good uh, you know got um got um got the comments and all the little uh, posts and the little tweets that all that and all that shit just hating on little ninja the old boy said he went to emphasize that little Archie is just a nine year old. Okay, then let him rap out nine year old shit. This is not. 
And that in the context of the hood, his behavior is far from extraordinary. He be promoting sexual life, making these kids adults. Okay, look. Uh, the shit is lame as hell to me. At the end of the day, he's nine years old. Okay, but uh, think about it. I don't know, but I don't know you, uh, where you from, but um, where we from, from, I know that this is a regular ninja in the hood. The world continues to set the record straight on why he's, ta uh, why he's taking the little young artist on him. On his spring, he defended by saying, are uh, young ninjas act just like that? They run around, cuss bad as fuck. Yeah, okay, we know that little kids, kids and stuff, we were all kids, uh, uh, cuss bad, but it, some, uh, some of us, most of uh, some of us do whatever, but this, this here is still in straight, if I justify it, I promoted it, um, um, so it's like that shit is not really nothing too crazy, it's just like shit, at least she's trying to do something positive. Oh, he trying to do something positive about. Oh, oh, okay. More of a door is highlight the fact that Lord is making an uh, earnest attempt to channel his injuries something construction rather than co coming at the young rapper's behavior to work coming in. So for choosing music as his outlet, not drawing, not big building, you know, um, games with finish choice. Okay. Maybe this is a statement. I've been seeing all those goddamn comments and all the little posts and all the tweets and all that shit. Just hating on the little nigga. Like, that shit lame as hell, though, because at the end of the day, he's nine years old. I think about, like, I don't know. I don't know if you from where we from type shit, but where I'm from, goddamn, that's that's a regular little nigga in the hood. Like, like all our young niggas act like that, though. They run around cussing, they be bad as fuck. So it's like that shit just, it's, it's not really nothing too crazy. So it's like shit, at least he trying to do something positive though. Like him rapping is going to change his life. It's going to change his life and it's going to make his life good. So he don't have to, bro, because in a couple years, if his life don't change, that little nigga going to be thugging. Because he already thugging. But that little nigga going to be thugging in a couple years if he don't get it out. So hell yeah, I'm finna help that little nigga get the check. Nigga, I don't give a fuck who got nothing to say about it. Fuck you, suck my dick, bitch. Okay, yeah, that's that's really gonna help. The highlights of this crucial aspect of the debate: the significance of buying mentorship and guidance to young individuals that could otherwise be uh, could have gone a different route. Social media, however, was not filling it on any record. Right, one of little artists' lyric question: If you ain't sucking D, little bitch, you can get the fuck out my shit. Understandably, social media feels as though the vulgar language is uh, is far too inappropriate. Now, I can't give this one person wrote. Oh Lord, us uh, 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 sis. The floor media, another said, such spoilers need to be thrown out. But beyond that, little new sliding on the song, another commented. The spy face and continued criticism, though, remains uh, resolute in its co um, commitment to steer little artists to a more positive direction. Okay, I wonder when that's coming. When Doughboy initially loaded the video, cut this IG page, he included a warning message in his catch piece I'm not promoting child violence, I'm encouraging him to embrace his talent, stay out of trouble so he can actually change his life before it's too late. Okay. Uh, while some people understood the vision, most want to finish elementary school first. Let us know your thoughts on, uh, you know, hip hop. Um, H N H H. After listening and seeing that mess, and you got people who sitting up here and condone like Doughboy and stuff like that. Now, like I said before, repeating myself, this is not the first time. Heck, we even got like recently, like, you got everything like. Bad Barbie just turned 18. You got little TJ, can you know, came back from being unlive and all this other stuff. She was nine year old, driving Ferraris and got a fame, like saying obscene stuff and pretending like you know she hood about that life and shit. And now she coming back with a pop song and stuff, whatever, and saying on the sack you get Jason that. But I, I may may not do other story. But who is to blame about this stuff? Now this child was even telling Carson that guy make money, you know, make money, you know, this is my way, blah blah blah. But why is this like the only way acceptable? Even like Dobo was kind of the rapper Dobo was saying kind of like, well, he doing this possible. Like, can he draw? Can he play basketball? I mean, you know, you have to have a, a you know, a healthy relationship. Uh, not say he healthy activity, even when playing video games, but it's like, really? Like, let this child be a child. He is a nine-year-old boy, not a young man. Like, hey, this is probably already some people ought to be sitting up there and, you know, doing sometimes kids anyway, especially we want to get, like, the layers about, you know, if they're, you know, black around. But, but, okay, but that's another story. But what I'm saying is it's like, 
this is sad and he knew that that was wrong because after when Kai Sinet was like what did you just say he gonna hop and jump and pretend like he didn't say that comment so that is a cautionary tale about you know what what if he says this or actually does his thing or or he don't get his way mm -hmm. since this push is like is if he can only rap about let's out the street but you know um f from this that's promoting something dangerous and f and fucking really toxic and what it, it <sighs> It's just sad. Well, tell me what you think about this, this mess. Hopefully, so, so, something can change about this. But this is, it, to me, it was pretty sad and messed up. You know that this child figures this is the right way to go, and and says a comment that should not have been said, even if he was an adult. So it's still, you know, how long is this going to continue? What can be done about this so this can be prevented? That he feels like, you know that whoever's behind the machine of making sure this boy put out these toxic ass hits and stuff and words does not continue on and roll over not just to him but the kids around his age a little bit older like this this ain't the way to go this is some bullshit somebody needs but it's it's so much i could say about this but this is this is this is sad this is some bullshit but let me leave y'all with you know a little inspirational word from kai Sinet. and if y'all could see i'll try to filter not i'll have to take it out it's just a snippet of video your rage this is how i found out about the video and about this uh, this child matters you know and um child it, uh, you know i tried researching about you know like more information about them so far and i have not seen anything you know like explain like parents or how you got into the rapping with this I, I don't know but anyway hugs and love y'all take care and i will see y'all in the next vid all right People gotta understand that how important it is to have friends that's that want the best for you and friends that's on the same page or have the same mindset as you. Because once mm -hmm. you have those people around you, you have it's literally nature. Like you're gonna you're gonna be who you're around. So if everybody working, you gonna work. If mm -hmm. everybody being lazy, you gonna be lazy. Mm -hmm. Simple as that. Like people doing wrong around you, you gotta be able to, to realize like, hey, okay, let me separate myself from these. Let me do my own thing If they around you You should be happy Your friend Bro do you know how hard it is To find friends Who are generally Want to just see you win mm -hmm. That's hard People would like to see you do good But not better than them bro